I'm excited about this. Yeah? Yeah. Is this like your language? Yeah, this is what I... I was going to do it on a little bit bigger scale than this, but... Well, I think good, we, could, uh, we could turn the Jeep joint into a... Yeah, <laughs> yeah well that's, that's what I would picture, actually. Ready? Yeah. Will you add more wood to the fire? No. That's it, eh? You load it. it up? So we put one and a half rounds of the stuff we wanted, which was pine. Into the... In the birch. oven. Yeah. And then burning around it is like two rounds of poplar. Right. Which is just like my my B grade just firewood. Just any excuse to get rid of that stuff. <laughs> like it's just starting? How long has it been going for? Like one minute? Yeah, two minutes at the most. And so it's just, but listen to it already. Yeah. It's like a big factory. It is a factory. I know why this melted. Why? Look at it in there now. Is it hot? Oh yeah, I can feel the heat. So what we had, Dave, was a bit of a problem, which was we put this big six foot long pipe on here yeah. so the fan would stay cold and not burn. Yeah. But if you feel it, the heat radiates all the way down no through that tube. Kidding. Yeah. And we'll show you the other fan. Oh, we'll show I, you what happened. I thought for sure heat rose. But this is no, proving it, that wrong. It, it like uh, it will sink it, even against a wind. <laughs> it radiates. Huh. That's the thing, it's sucking in cold air. Right? Yeah. And yeah. it's actually cold, like zero degree air flowing past the fan blades. Yeah. And the well, look at the, look at the fan blades. Yeah. Wow. Oh, it's just a plastic little blade. I eh? know. So like the motor and everything's fine, huh. but the little I just I don't know where to get these plastic or, I don't or think a metal you, blade. I don't think you want a plastic. No, I don't know where to get a metal blade to put on there. Just fabricate one. Oh, <gasps> in the forge. <laughs> we could forge a blade. Yeah. Why are you laughing? We're like yeah, we could go. We we're gonna take this charcoal over and forge at your place, <laughs> like tonight. And that's what we can make. Yeah, maybe we could do that. It's pretty smoky right here at it's this moment. It's <laughs> very dramatic. Okay, so we've built these before. In fact, we made a video about building retort like years ago. You remember Abigail welding? Anyways, we did a similar design, but we just did it a little bit better this time. And the thing that mostly we did better is the, the, the bin inside that the charcoal is actually made in. That we used a 40 pound propane tank and cut the top off, an old one that we've got at the propane place. So it's the perfect size. That's why, that's why this one is so great. And also we use an old satellite dish for a lid and we used a spare chunk of pipe so it burns pretty efficient. Okay, well, I think this is gonna take two hours. Two hours, well. Yeah, and then maybe and then it'll be burnt out, but maybe we'll wait till three, till it's quite cold. Yeah, it won't take long because it burns pretty efficient. Kidding, eh? Yeah. You so, and then we're gonna have gorgeous charcoal. We'll show you. <laughs> it is gorgeous. It is really nice. Yeah. And That's we nice. can eat off it, but we can forge with it. And we've been playing around with charcoal. You can do some pretty awesome stuff with charcoal. <laughs> like, if you're into black powder. Uh, it's, I kind of gave it away. <laughs> you can make black powder. <laughs> okay. It's all done and cold. Let's open it up. This thing is very easy to build, right? It's a it's a 45 gallon <coughs> drum. So we just punch a hole in the bottom. And now this thing, yeah, there it is. The reaction vessel. Okay, let's see. Turn it up. Check it out. Listen to that, eh? That's the sound. 
That's the sound of pure, pure charcoal. Sounds like glass. It is so, it's amazing how light this is, eh? Like it, you almost, it just doesn't feel like anything for this size. So this vessel was a 40 pound propane tank. I think it was 40 pounds, it's bigger than a 30 pounder. And all we did was cut the top off and we did build this fancy lid, okay? But you do not need this fancy lid, but all this is, is something flat and something to keep it, this bit was to keep it off the bottom of the barrel. So the idea is when it's burning, there actually can be heat right underneath here. And then here's the, the science of it is when it's baking in there, it needs a way to, ex the gases to come out and they just, they just sneak out of here. So this little tiny crack lets all the smoke out, but it doesn't let any air back in, especially when it's sitting upside down in there and ash collects on here. Like it's just sealed right up. So none of this stuff burns. Okay, let's fill a five gallon pail. Oh, I like these big lumps. And you're not helping. I'm working too. <laughs> I see that. that occupied? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that stuff is gorgeous. Okay, there you go. So just under, it's like five gallons and then three gallons. Yeah. So eight gallons. It just, <laughs> it just like pops apart. Take that one more. Yeah. Wow. So besides the forge, we're gonna eat on, we're gonna cook with this. And also, We're gonna make some black powder. And maybe we'll show you that because black powder is proving to be very fun to make. Oh, hey, are we doing this? Yeah. Okay. Well, this is pretty exciting, man. Like, look at this big, huge bellows. Did anyone imagine that it would be as big as a piano? <laughs> I did, I did. That's how I, exactly how I pictured it. Really? <laughs> yeah. You planned it that way? Yeah. So there's a little flapper yep. valve there, yep. and there's one on the other side. Yep, other flapper. And then... Another flapper. And then you can okay. just... Oh, wow, yeah, I can see it coming out of there. Okay, well... Look at that. Oh, man. Okay, I'm going to turn my light off. Look at that. Okay, operate the bellows. Yes. Yeah, oh man. That is cool. This is unbelievable. The heat coming off of here. Okay, let me have a turn here. Here, you film for a bit. Do you know how this thing works? No. Nope. Okay, we'll just aim it at something. Oh yeah. yeah, you're you're doing it. Look at. Is it supposed to like jump around like this? Well, it's on ice right now. Oh, I see. You can see the flames jumping though every time you. That is amazing. The heat coming off that forge. It's very hot, and my charcoal is performing very well. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, that's exactly how I would want it to perform. Well, that is pretty awesome, man. Yeah. That is a pretty cool forge. You ready? Yep. Okay, it's time for the real fun part. We'll make some black powder. How much are we doing? Uh, let's see. Sounds We're not like gonna need a lot. Listen to it. Here, actually, that's probably enough. Maybe a little, 
Yeah, a couple more little pieces. Okay. Okay. Grinder up. Okay, and then take it off and just shake it up. Yeah. We're making black powder. Yeah. Oh yeah, we could have ground it up better, but it's okay, we're sieving it. You guys can find this on the internet anywhere. It's no secret, the recipe for black powder, but it's 75% potassium nitrate, which you can get usually at a, the garden store. And then charcoal's only 15%. Like it's the thing that burns, but it's only 15%. And a little bit of sulfur, which is also at your garden store. So we'll weigh it out. Okay, there's 65, put that in. So look, we're putting this, you'll notice, in a rock tumbler. And we actually just threw some polished uh, agates in there. You'll see in a minute. 10 more grams. Mm. Be careful. Careful. Oh, Back up to 11. 11. Oh, that's actually fine, just put it in. So here's the here's the secret ingredient. That's not so secret. The charcoal. The black charcoal puts the black in the black powder. Okay, how much of this? Fifteen. Just about there. So this was that was actually like the perfect amount of charcoal that we put in there, hey? It was really just a handful of lumps. There we go. Dump it in. Are you the sulfur lady? Apparently. Um, is it okay to put the same spoon in? Uh, I'll wipe it off. There we go. Ooh, this is way heavier. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. Mix it in. Okay. Lid on. So there you go. The rock polisher. This stuff will, like this will already burn. But, it's like all you gotta do is mix it up. That's it. But, it will burn better if you tumble it. Like you saw that the charcoal powder was not that powdery. Uh, the sulfur and the potassium nitrate were actually. But the charcoal's not, so tumbling it's only gonna help. And it doesn't blow up. We've done this, uh, well, a bunch of times, and it doesn't blow up. This stuff we just made up the other day. It's the exact same recipe, but it's been, uh, this was milled for overnight for 12 hours. How much? Beautiful, yeah, just put a bit on there. Okay, light it up, let's see what happens. Whoa! <laughs> There we go. Right. <laughs> and there's the smoke. The black powder works, but we have a surprise for you. We put together like a little package of black powder and we're just gonna try that out. Okay, you girls ready? Okay, here we go. Are you connected? Not yet. I <laughs> can't wait. I hope so. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's connected. It's not on yet. Okay. Okay. Is it on? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Ready? I like this black powder stuff, Kez. How about you? Yep, I do too. It is pretty cool. Well, I hope you guys like that. Let me know if uh, you're making your own charcoal or if you're making your own black powder. And hey, the off-grid camp out. We are very excited for all of you who have already signed up. And we're basically at the point where we're gonna go ahead with it. We got enough people coming. 
but there's still room. So if you want to sign up, it's going to be in May. It's going to be in mid-May. We're going to camp out for four days. Rose is going to prepare and make and provide all the food. And we're going to make an outdoor pizza oven and try that thing out. And hopefully drag the cook stove over there. Um, pump some water from the spring. Kind of do everything we can off grid. We're going to uh, butcher our own pig and then process the whole thing over the weekend. And, and so if you want to uh, join us, that would be fabulous. You got to head to our website. It's gridlessness.com and it's the off-grid campout. If you want to sign up, that'd be fabulous. We know not everyone can and we still love you. <laughs> Catch you guys next time. Okay, is it on? Yep. Okay, here we go. Ready? Yeah.